Hi, I'm Mobile Mselegu. And I am Pesim Mselegu. And we are married to each other, obviously, and we are parents of three and have been involved in the network marketing profession under the umbrella of Forever Living Products for the past eight years. Before joining the network marketing industry, I was working for one of the largest media houses here in South Africa, KZN. Uh, to be honest with you, I loved my job. I loved all the glitz and glam that came with it, but I was also very frustrated. I was uninspired. I was not motivated. I needed a way out. I was tired of borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. I was also tired of working long hours, trying to prove myself to my employer, but getting no recognition. So it was tough. And I remember one day while I was browsing on Facebook, I met a lady by the name of Ugabi. It was in 2012, and she shared this amazing gift with us. I'm Percy. My background before starting with Forever, I worked for a construction company for 11 years. I gave them my youth basically. I gave them all, <laughs> but I had to rejuvenate and work it up again. Basically, um, in the construction company that I worked for, I was one of the youngest uh, directors. I came up in the rank quite quickly. I was over dedicated. I gave them um, full service. I was always out on site since I was one of the youngest guys. So I used to go out on the further sites. So that means for me, I never really got enough time to spend at home and watch my, my kids grow up. I was always away from the family. And that wasn't a good way to start to raise a family. So for us, it was a bit of a tension at the time because I was never at home. So we, we were having fights back then because of always being away from home. But to cut a long story short, I also loved my job. I also enjoyed what I did. But um, there came a time where things went sour. The company was about to foreclose and with everything that we had worked hard for, it was about to be taken away. Now you must remember, as a black man, we are taught growing up in, our, in, in the early ages that we are the providers in the family. So at that time when I was about to lose everything, which meant, which meant that I couldn't provide for my family, which meant that I we could possibly lose even the house that we had bought at the time. It was very bad and it took me, you know, quite some time, you know, thinking about it to, to find my way, to find my bearings, to be able to say, you know what, let me start over because there's uh, the opportunity that I had. Being a director, I thought we had made it. You know, I thought I was going to be able to provide for my family, but now the company was about to foreclose and we were about to lose everything. But lucky for me, I had a wife. You know, they say, they say the, the one that finds a wife finds a good thing. So I found that my, my good match, who actually, <laughs> you know, looked and, and found a business that we could shelter under. But still, at the time, it was very difficult for myself because I had to fight, you know, um, the demons inside me, you know, all the negative thoughts of um, you've lost your company. What makes you think that you can now come in and, and build a, a, a successful business in forever? Because you had lost what you had, what you worked so hard for. So it was a very difficult time. But like I said, we did find our way back and I had to take my mind, self-development all the time to, to work on my mindset, to work on you know getting back to saying, you know what? I've done it before in a different um, uh, space, which was construction, but now I can come back up again and work with my wife and learn from her because she started the business and learn from me on what is actually required of me as a partner. How can I assist her in growing this business so that we can build this crazy empire that we have a dream to have? Oh, what a tough time it was, you know, for us. I remember when my husband came home with you know the letter that their company is closing down 
but lucky for us we've always had that incredible work ethic. Anyway, when Gabi shared the forever business with us, the main reason why I decided to join back then, it was in 2012, it was in 2013 actually, but she shared the opportunity with us in 2012. Strange enough, I said no in 2012 because I thought forever was beneath me. Mind you, we were in debt. Mind you, I was not happy. Mind you, we were borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, you know. But anyway, in 2013, when she said uh, the opportunity again, as they always say, the fortune really is in the follow-up. So I really thank Gabby for not giving up on us. We joined in 2013 because my car had a lot of mechanical problems. That was the main reason why we decided to join forever. We wanted to upgrade the car that I was driving. I wanted a better car. So that was the main reason. Eight years later, our lives has completely changed. It has completely transformed. We have gone from barely surviving to having more than enough. We have gone from a negative bank balance, yes, it was negative, to a comfortable bank balance. You know, we now live life on our terms. We have fired our bosses. We are now gracious stay-at-home parents. We have time freedom, which is the most important thing. We can do what we want whenever we want. We are those parents that are always there to pick up our kids from school, even though now we have an old pair, but if we want to pick up our kids from school, we can, we can do that, you know? When my husband started, you know, uh, forever, his dream has always been construction. Most definitely, since I come from the background, I've always loved, you know, I was fascinated about, you know, creating things, building things, you know. Um, but for us now, being out of construction meant that I could follow my passion. It meant that I could now start living my true dream and actually being there for my family and being able to build a legacy with my wife, hand in hand, day in, day out, to build this lasting, um, huge legacy that we are working on. So we started back then, as we were starting to grow in the business, we started um, buying properties. We started now looking at uh, rental properties. And um, basically we wanted to be uh, property developers, but because of time and the fact that it was gonna take away from our you know, core business, which is Forever Living Products, we decided let's just do rental properties we buy properties and we just um, basically put them in the trust for our kids and we are just investing in properties throughout and um, where how many are we sitting with now? We are actually sitting on 10 rental properties and uh, the last one being the one that we bought in Cape Town which is just super amazing you know something that we didn't think was actually possible you know for us and currently uh, we are building our dream home in one of the elite estates here in, in Deben, which is going to be sea facing and has everything and, and anything that you can possibly think of. You know, so it has been amazing. We have, you know, achieved a lot from wanting to join because we wanted a car. We now drive cars of our dreams. We now take ki our kids, you know, to private schools and um, we are truly forever grateful for, for what we have achieved. We are grateful for the lives that we have impacted and we are grateful as well for the amazing friends that we have met. So Hello, we are the Pselegus and we are forever, forever proud. Grateful. Yeah, forever grateful, forever proud.